So here we have a recent image of Joseph Robinet, the president, with nothing on the paper. A blank sheet of paper. Hello everyone, Bruce Swartz here from Montreal, Quebec. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. Yes, this is... Hey Peter, I got the sun. This is today's sun. So, getting yet... Again, very aggressive, but now we see two more spots appearing, more than two spots. We're going to get in, see a couple of views for like three, four minutes, you know, take a nice look at the sun close up. These sun spots are very troublesome, as beautiful as they are, as interesting as they are to look at. Here's even a small one starting right there, right? By filming all the time and any chance and every chance I get, at one point we're going to see something good haven't seen any rocks flying by the sun in a while, but then again, I haven't been seeing the sun at all in quite a while. Here's a nice way to see it here. So you can see the solar flares. You can see the spots and um, all around those sunspots. You can see other spots. You can see the activity, the fire inside of the holes, the, the coronal holes, which is uh, going down into the sun they can go down very deep at one point um sunspot 2862 i believe i could be wrong about the number they were talking about it the one you know that was 173 kilometers long and uh they were talking about how deep the coronal holes went we're talking about like 70 000 kilometers downwards uh when the uh, the, uh, the spot is uh, as big as it was at that moment there's a nice, simple way of filtering it to be able to see uh, the sunspot. So can you see the difference? When you're looking at it just white, you can't see the billowing fire or anything. You just see black spots. But now we can see the fire. So this is close up on some of the sunspots. And I'll get some music up. We'll look at that. And then we'll go see something else. So now let's zoom in even closer. And then we're going to reprocess it and get in even closer. Of course, with the simple green filtering and the negative. Check it out, guys. Um, it might be too early, as I was saying, to uh, anticipate a strong solar cycle 25 as compared to uh, the cycle 24. But let me tell you, I think it's already been proven. If you take the sunspot numbers from the early years of uh, the solar cycle just before, solar cycle 24, okay? Um, overlaid them on... Uh, over top of the solar cycle 25 side by side did i uh, did a comparison they're um an almost perfect match now here's the thing uh, solar cycle 24 was the quietest the fewest sunspots okay solar cycle in 100 years all right um will the solar cycle 25 be like solar cycle 24 that's what everyone was talking about at the beginning and still even now i don't think so it's it's already showing its aggressivity already well will it continue to ramp up is what we are wondering and asking ourselves um bringing more visible sunspots more solar flares and prominences and more earth directed coronal mass ejections and aurora of course according to study from a team of researchers from Calvin College in Grand Rapids. This is a good one, guys, up in Michigan. Binary star system, I'm sure some of you have heard it, will likely merge and explode in 2022. That's this year. This is a historical find, obviously, since it will allow astronomers to witness a stellar merger and explosion for the first time in history. I can almost guarantee you one thing. In 2022, the sun will be a very hot topic. Stellar collisions are an amazingly rare thing. According to our best estimates, such events only occur in our galaxy within globular clusters. Oops, haven't they mentioned a globular cluster? They have. Once every 10,000 years. Wow, just so happens we're right in it, aren't we? It's only been recently, thanks to ongoing improvements in instrumentation and technology, that astronomers have been able to observe such mergers taking place. 
As of yet, no one has ever witnessed this phenomena in action, but that may be about to change. So do you think it's a coincidence that the James Webb Telescope is going out far out to, um, to see that merging system? For sure, that's what I believe. Where are they now? They are doing the course phasing. So there's no alignment, right? It's not calibrated yet. They have a telescope up there and all the mirrors are acting like, eight, you know, all different telescopes. I'll explain. Although image stacking puts all the light in one place on the detector of the James Webb scope, the segments are still acting as 18 small different telescopes rather than one big one. The segments need to be um, lined up with each other with an accuracy smaller than the wavelength of the light. So conducted three times during the commissioning process, course phasing measures and corrects the vertical displacement. So they're not getting images yet, they say. So they say they're just still lying it. Apparently it's going to go on till this summer. This summer is when they'll start bringing back some images, so they say. So you just saw yesterday's sun that was filmed on March 2nd. This is March 3rd. This is the sun at sunrise, just after the sunrise this morning. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's head over to the moon. Have you ever wanted to see a real moon base or structure? The material is very reflective. The material they build with. It has straight geometrical shapes just like here on Earth. The only difference is that everything we are seeing because it's in space has the same color and the same reflectivity. You can see the base or structure here with a dark surface um, material and a very reflective material. Whether it be a shadow or not, I highly doubt that, but you could still see the construction of the objects. It's straight up presented clearly, both with and without a simple filtering. Look here, inverted, beautiful. You can't say that those aren't objects that are there. Spaceships, who knows, but it's constructed, definitely constructed, it has straight angles. And for us to see a straight angle from earth on the moon it's because the structures are gigantic look at this line and all the image that you can see here some areas look like ice some areas look like snow maybe right but that's because of the reflectivity have you ever seen a line like that that runs 30 kilometers long straight line like that over top of the crater so it's definitely definitely uh, very easy to prove that it's not um, ejecta like nasa says have you ever seen NASA show you a crater? This is um, at the end of the Apennine Mountains, right? Eratosthenes Crater. Have you ever seen smoke lifting up out of a crater? Have you ever seen a channel show a real explosion like this that he caught themselves on the moon? How incredible do you think that is? Just like NASA shows the supposed asteroids that blow up on the moon. It's not asteroids. There's more explosions than they are saying. And if you look... Very carefully, you can see them. I just proved right here that something was launched from the surface because you see an explosion miles away on the right and you see surface areas with lights flickering just before instantaneously that object appears. So proof, it's a UFO that left the surface or it's a missile that left the surface or maybe something that we don't understand. But look at the light there, clearly shown 
with the exposure completely taken down. There are real explosions on the moon that I was able to show. Imagine a YouTube channel able to show many explosions on the moon. I haven't seen any yet. Why is the research not getting out to others? Simple, because I'm showing something top secret that with my innocent head, let's say, I was able to show people without having an understanding of what I was filming. It still remains very dangerous. This is fire going down to the surface of the moon. So it's an object on fire. What do you think of that? Different characteristics for many different explosions and fires on the moon. This one, we could see a dark spot at the end of it, like something's uh, in front of that flame. It could be something traveling over the surface of the moon, interacting with the atmosphere and oxygen. It's beautiful seeing it this way. And it's straight up proof. Thank you so much for the generous contributions. And if you're here, you're definitely contributing to the channel. Take the time to subscribe if you like the, um, the work. Thank you so much. Doesn't matter cause disclosure's coming soon